up guys, who here, back with another video, this time around guiding you through the new solar offensive event going on right now. If I mess up the offensive part, I'm just gonna call it solar because uh, it's a very hard word to say. I feel to say in solar offensive. Uh, we're used to saying lunar plunder, that's the one we are used to having around here, and it's basically the same thing but they kind of flipped it and now instead of being lunar which is the moon right now we got solar which is now the sun so it, we are now on the offensive i guess instead of we were i guess defending before now we're going on the offense and i think that's amazing that it's not a completely new event because there's a, of course also a bunch of stuff that people hasn't gotten that hasn't played for a bunch of years so they can't make completely new events because then the those things wouldn't be in the game so new people would never have access to this stuff and they have to implement that some other way so it's they kind of have to go through the same events but i think it's great that they're changing it just a little bit i know maybe it's only the name and sort of some of the quest steps and now we're having nine quest steps so last year we had eight for example right but you have access to all the other things and stuff like that so i think it's great that they're just changing a little bit and i hope they're going to do that in the future that they're taking all these events and just kind of making a little bit of a twist on them and they have done so uh, before but i feel like sometimes they kind of forget or kind of just recycle it a little bit too much so i would love them to just change them here and there like the quest steps or something like that and then keep some of the other stuff as it should be in whatever but yeah uh, this is the luna uh, if you were familiar with the you know the lunar event we got last year this is of course a solar one it's just kind of mostly the same but the quest steps are different uh, i did check it up on that because when i saw it i was like well i was expecting luna and now we're getting solar so what's the deal and it was did they just like change the name of it but they didn't the quest steps are different uh, some of them a little bit similar but most of them are uh, completely different but of course there is access again to all that you are used to and also keep in mind that we do have the 14 days of daily adventures uh, going into this as we are used to today it's of course gathering one ore and ore uh, just one ore you can also get them from pinatas so if you stand around in the hub you will get this one as well this happened before but of course do that one of course on saturday to get that double xp potion that's kind of nice to just do one dungeon any dungeon and you get that double xp potion also right now there's also the lock in reward uh, going still and it's going to be until the 14th of august uh, I made a video on the channel, so if you've seen that as well, there is still time to get uh, the rewards. There's actually one reward that's pretty good. I think it's on day four, three or four. You get five uh, uh, five potions that gives you 1,000 magic find. So those are pretty nice. Those are actually premium from the uh, you know store. Uh, I do think they might be, yeah, so five. Yeah, so that's actually 750 credits. That's 750 credits. Of course, you cannot trade these of course these are these are bound so you cannot just trade them unfortunately but you do get 750 credits for free and with the prices of credit pouches right now this is equal to 90 million i think it is on the, at least on uh, at least on what's it called on consoles uh, right now i think it's like 3 million uh, or 4 million on uh, uh per 250 so you have to divide off uh, 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 not divided but times that three right so that would be if you say five million that's 15 million about 15 million uh, worth in that but anyways now this is a sidetrack but uh, you can still make it until the 14th so start logging in you can do the event now and you can just you know log in you don't even have to do anything for the login reward they claim that uh, automatically as you can see right here uh, you get today i got of course the um the super styles because that's i am past the uh, five potions here but i just wanted to mention that i said in the video that it wasn't like completely great reward but i kind of missed those five potions and the other ones are great but not as the five potions the potions are what is the best of it but check out the video that's also just the you know one of these that's just behind this one but anyways enough rambling enough intro let's jump into step number one all right, guys, for, for step number one, all we have to do is go to the hub and you can not even miss it. I think it's right over there. You can see the big uh, purple bean over there. You can also see the big light there. That's not what we are supposed to, but it also guides you towards that. Actually, you can also see it if you have it up here on your uh, radar thing. You can actually see there is where we have to go as well. So let's head over here and talk to the guy. That's actually a pretty nice house here. Actually, you know, it's very simple, but 
I do think it's kind of cool. Uh, that got Lunavik. That's actually something from the Lunar Plunder event that we got going on um, and as well. So, but let's talk to the guy just by interacting with him. And that's going to complete step number one. Not really much more to uh, say about that. But yeah, other than that, that's, uh, that's step number one. Just go interact with uh, our guy there and we can head into step number two. All right, so for step number two, all we have to do is be here in the hub. We picked up right where we were from step number two, and we have to go and place some offensive standards on Trove. So uh, it guides us over here to the Radiant Day Spring. Uh, so there should be something in here we can start doing something with. And if I go right here, it, it does say there is some standards right here. There's also a solar cell seal i guess it's called and then there is some allies uh there's some i don't have because i don't have the buddy one uh i don't have this one either or i don't have this one and there's a bunch of stuff here there's also recipes from last year and these two is from last year as well there's also a rally one which we probably have to do later on but these are the standards it's going to cost you blank scrolls it's going to cost you blue and yellow uh, primal ones and these you can get from the marketplace if you want to do so or go out there and just bomb random places uh, blue usually is from uh, you know from the permafrost biome and yellow i think you get from i think it's from desert biomes if i'm not mistaken but you only need three of them and uh, for each of these and then you need the blank scrolls and blank scrolls you can get in a, a bunch of places uh, you can get them from you know recipe dungeons if you do recipes and then you do collect them you get the blank scrolls from there as well they can be a little pricey on the marketplace but you, you don't need a bunch of them you do need to get 15 of them so uh, we do have to craft a few but uh, you can get see you can get three at a time so uh, quick math I think we need to uh, craft five of them so that's five times these and we should have enough banners we can see i have the standards down here and then we have to go and place them as well so let's find out where we have to uh, place them as well so we can see here uh, just so i have my mouse it's nothing to do over here <laughs> uh craft them we so we did that as well and then head into the fey forest the cursed valley medieval highlands desert frontier and jungle uh, biome and then find the offensive poster stumps and then use them on these ones so uh let me show you how you are going to uh, do so by uh, uh, going into one of these biomes and uh, placing down one of these but remember to have 15 with you before you go in there as well so i'll see you guys when i am at one i can use these on all right, we are now in one of the biomes. I picked the uh, Fey Forest. It's just because that's the one I like the most of all of these, but you can go to any of them you want to. And I just went to the one that's right down here because that has the most Fey biome. You can go again to any one you like. And it's pretty easy to, uh, to see them. As you can see, you can barely, uh, well, uh, miss them, if that's what you're uh, supposed to say. But uh, you can also see actually on the map as well. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. You can actually see the map when you discover it. I didn't know that. But the point is, I ran from around here and then I went ran down here and I realized that this area was already taken. Uh, so it, they do disappear, I think, uh, from the map if you uh, if people already have uh, used them as well. We will see that on here as well. So we're going to go up to it and all you have to do is just have it in your hotbar, of course, down here and then you go ahead and then you throw it at it uh and then of course you completely miss and then you <laughs> are missing one so great job by me um you see there we go so you kind of have to hit it you can hold down the button you can see you can hold down the button if you want to be actually precise and actually actually hit it and i can hopefully i also throw it again <laughs> gotta get uh more of that but then you see that i got one of them as well and this does get removed actually it's still on the map i don't know if that is what it's supposed to be uh, but uh, apparently it is uh, still there but I don't know that it's it's still gone so uh, but uh, I don't know if that's something I got going on but uh, if it is that's cool if it is but I, I was uh, maybe that's just a little bug that is right now but you should be around finding them pretty easily going through all of these here biomes so i'm gonna go get my uh well i'm gonna go get some more standards but i'm also gonna get my last 14 uh throwing those uh more correctly so i can actually get this here done so uh, we are done with step number two we can head into step number three
All right, so for step number three, we have to do the exactly the same thing, except we do have to be in the Jude top sign. And Jude top sign is, of course, down here. You can go either 8, 9, 10, or 11 to go and throw down these banners. It's exactly the same thing. So make sure you go through the hub again and actually, you know, get yourself some banners and try to hit them. I'm getting a little better headed again, but they're exactly the same as right here. I don't know if they're on the map as well. They are. I did figure out that these do disappear when you find another one. So it kind of stays on the map, which is a really good thing. It stays on the map until you find another one. So you kind of remember that, you know, you can get back to that one. And it's pretty cool because it also shows sometimes out here you can sometimes uh, find one i did run around and then actually i ran past one that i didn't see because i was you know running around but yeah you can see there's run down here uh and it should show on the map right there you can see there and then the other one disappears and you also get coins by throwing down these ones right here so make sure you have 15 of these uh, ones to go also to the uh, the ones you need for of course geo top side so go ahead make 15 more go to the geo top side and get yourself uh, some of these uh, coins you get a hundred coins of these which is pretty nice so you can craft a bunch of stuff in the hub but anyways that's not what the point is that was step number three get some more banners throw them there go to your top side and you are done with step number three and we can head into step number four all right, so for step number four, we have to return to the hub and talk to the guy we did before. So it's not really much to do in step number four other than just going up, interacting with him. Just hit that E button and we're going to interact with him. And that's going to complete step number four. That's not really uh, much more to it, but yeah, that's it. Uh, go ahead, talk to him in step number four and we can head into step number five. All right, so for step number five, we are right where we left off for step number four. Now we are in step number five, and all we have to do is go ahead and use today a Radiant Day Spring. These are also can be in your club worlds if you want to use it there in ways, but it's also going to be right here next to it. Uh, so here's the Radiant Day Spring, and also there's a big uh, you know beam to it, purple beam to it. But now we have to go ahead and we have to craft these solar uh solar solar seal uh and we need some flux 100 flux and some bombs of course you can craft those or buy them off the marketplace and then we need some of these coins we got a bunch of them from the other steps those are going to be out to claimed as you can see they are out to claimed here so don't worry about it but you also get them of course from throwing down the banners it seems like i did you know i did, did the 15 that i needed and i got 30 uh 15 and 15 for the two steps so it seems like you get one coin for each one of these and i think that's pretty awesome so you can actually calculate that but uh it says you get five of these it doesn't say how many you do have to craft it does you have to says that you have to craft seals but you also get five by one craft so i'm going to go ahead and try to just uh, hit the crafting button one time and see if that is going to be enough for us to uh yeah get this one right here so let's go ahead and just craft five that is actually going to complete it so uh maybe we need more for the next step because i'm probably pretty sure we're going to use that but uh i just crafted five and we'll see what happens in the next step but you just have to craft once and see if we kind of craft some more but that's going to be in uh, step number six because we are done with five you know again uh, step number five so i'll see you guys in uh, step number six all right, so for a step number six, we have to defeat enemies in the sh shores of Everdark. It's just called Everdark, but it's the shores of Everdark. And of course, you access those right up here. You can either go to eight or nine, doesn't matter. But here, you just have to defeat enemies. As you can see right here, if I go right over here, it's just the random enemies that I'm defeating. And they are all uh, going to count towards this. You do need 50 of these. So that's why I was kind of wondering if you need 50 of these solar ones, but you don't need 50 of these for this step, but you are going to need it in the future. Uh, I tried to use one of them on one of these alphas that you need. And all you have to do is get around uh, killing enemies. As you can see, they are right here on the ground. So you just have to go around. You can also go into some of the dungeons if you want to do that. So that's probably also going to count. I didn't test that. But yeah, yeah uh, it's probably going to work. I'm pretty sure. There's also some new dungeons right here, uh, which is pretty interesting. You can see there's some small dungeons actually that are going to be in the shores of Everdark. So that's actually pretty interesting to me because these are new and people are talking about dungeons and you should be able to go in this is a you know everybody is right around here so uh okay so we can now use the portal inside and that is gonna do 
Uh, not so much. <laughs> oh, we have to go down. Okay. And there you got to find an alpha. This is one of the alphas ones. And these uh, you do need the seals for. You can see, and then it becomes teeny tiny. And then you can defeat it. And actually also going to give you a chest, which is going to give you a shadow cache. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, that's about it. That's going to give you a shadow cache. Nothing really much about it. So there's actually just small dungeons in here as well. I think that's absolutely amazing because you can actually get them done as well. And you can see people are also doing them. So these are just dungeons. And of course, these are the big ones as well. So these, of course, work as they uh, should be. And I'm going to get my last 20 just going around right here. And then I'll uh, see you guys in step number seven, because that was step number six right here. All you have to do again, just go around killing enemies uh, before they kill you, of course, uh, in the shores of Eridoic. And I cannot get to uh, tell people to let me just uh, <laughs> enemies to let me just tell you guys that this was step number six. I'll see you guys in step number seven. See you there. All right, so we are in for step number seven and step number seven is actually defeating these alphas that we were talking about before. I'm back in the hub because I need to craft myself some more of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get craft uh, five of these, you do only have to craft it once, so you only need one coin. You have a bunch of coins, as you can see right here. And I'm going to go ahead and craft myself so I have a little bit more. And then, again, we have to go to the shores of Everdark. is right out here. You need to go eight or nine, that's really up to you. And then you're going to go and kill these. I'm going to go kill one again for you guys. I know some people might have already seen it in step number six, but if somebody skipped ahead by the temps, timestamp to seven because they wanted to know how to feed the alphas, then... Uh, I will show you guys as well that right here. So I'll go to the shores of Everdark and defeat one of these alphas right there. So see you guys in the shores of Everdark. All right, so I found one of these alphas. They are invaders in the uh, biome here in the ever shores of Everdark, but you can also find them in the small dungeons that are in the area. You can see right here, if you look right over here, you can see slay the alpha. So if I go ahead and you can see there's also a bunch of people uh, inviting each other if they find an alpha as well. Um, I would do so as well if it wasn't for the video. So it's a little bit laggy now that everybody is running around, but it is right down here. And you can see right here, I can't do, I only do one damage to it. It'll take quite a long time before I get to defeat this one. That's why we do have our little, uh, little seal here. We can throw on it and it reduces its shield. And you can see now it is quite small and it does also you die pretty easily and that's actually going to get one of the invaders so either you can run around and do um you know run around finding the dungeons or you can like team up with people and they will spawn on you randomly and you'll get them uh i'm probably just gonna because i only need five and i need to get this done pretty quickly uh, i'm just gonna run around and do the dungeons but yeah that is what happens you can so you either run around do the dungeons and make sure it says alpha because uh, you can see uh, if you look at the map i also bypass some other dungeons this one for example this one this one did not have an alpha in it. So make sure it says that before you defeat it. And it will also be makes sense when you get in there because the, the boss here is just gonna be defeated. You don't even have to throw a seal on it. So I'm gonna go out there, get my last four of these alphas. And then I will, of course, see you guys in step number eight because this was step number seven. So yeah, see you in step number eight. All right, so for step number eight, we have to complete six daily adventures. So we are back in the hub to look at the six different daily quests you can actually do. So you can do them all at once. So uh, we can do this one. First of all, you can get the alphas. Uh, we can do the obelisk actually also. Let's uh, check that one out as well. Place standards, fish in the shores of Everdark. Uh, also to place offensive standards in the Everdark and defeat enemies in the Everdark as well. So let's go ahead and check them out one more time here. Um, you see uh, Obelisk, that's the small dungeons in the shores of Everdark. Then there's also Defeat Enemies, it's actually only 25, which is pretty cool. And then Defeat Alpha Invaders, that's only 3, which is pretty cool. Uh, well, I do only have 2 left. <laughs> then we have to place the of, uh, offensive stances in the shores of Everdark, we did that. There's only 5 of them, that's actually pretty nice. Fish in the shores of Everdark, that's actually going to give you 10 coins. It says fish here, it doesn't say what you have to fish, so... Uh, any fish can, you know, be one of these. And then also place five standards as well for uh, in the geode, in trove and geode. So you can do it either, uh, it does say in trove. I think it should say or geode, but uh, it's just uh, all over trove and geode. So, but 
Again, you can put them in either trove, that means like or in geode. So it uh, doesn't matter, but you just pull, throw down five, but you don't have to craft that many. Of course, you have to craft 10, so you also do the other one as well. But these are actually pretty cool little uh, quests. The only thing I, of the quest, I think it takes a little time. It's actually the fishing one, but there is, you know, a fish there in there you might actually want because, you know, there's some fish in there from the new update for a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, uh, 10 minutes to to the servers are gonna go down so uh rather than i actually you know uh wait an hour or maybe two hours i, I think the downtime is at least an hour we're getting some sort of update i I think it's just based on what we did this weekend but the point is i'm gonna do these when the servers are up again but we are still gonna miss one step so i'm gonna, just gonna tell you right here what we are going to do so you, you do all these ones here i would probably i'm probably gonna skip this one and just wait an extra day but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do all the other ones as well because these are pretty simple to uh, do uh, maybe the alphas is a little bit weird one, I don't know, but uh, you do get a lot of coins for it, but yeah, uh, that's, you just do the obelisk, but the obelisks are pretty easy to uh, do, so I'm probably just going to skip a day anyway. So, but the point is, uh, for step, uh, the next step, I'll tell you guys that, right, I'm just going to do a cut because, you know, might as well, because it just makes a lot of better for the content but yeah that's step number eight just do six daily adventures they're all in there you can do them all in one day if you want to or just do it over a couple of days wherever you feel like but yeah that was step number eight now we'll go into step number nine all right guys so for a step number nine you can see i'm still on step number eight it's because the servers are going down in five minutes and i want to be productive while the servers are down and make you guys this a you know edit this is a video for you guys while the servers are down so you guys can start doing this right as the servers come up but the thing is with step number nine it's not really complicated at all all you have to do is get yourself to the radiant day spring and then you go ahead and craft this banner right here it's a pretty cool little banner uh but you do need the cleansed uh lunar drop which of course is from step number eight so you can you can craft this one here uh, to get this one this was also called the same but i'm pretty sure this would not work because this is just a decorate one i'm pretty sure they want us to craft this one as well you do have you should have the coins for it and then of course you get to drop as well from step number eight and you should be all good to go but that's just crafting the rallying banner here should be the only thing you have to do for step number nine uh, so that's gonna be it for, for the video, that's not really much more. I actually kind of like this uh, event. I kind of like that they twisted a little bit. It's more or less the same. Uh, I do like that we have to do some more daily quests. I do like that we have to, I wish it was even more daily quests. I know, I know, but it could be that it was a side quest. They've done so in the past where we kind of, you unlock the quest after the quest was done, you unlocked like a second one. And I wish that there would be just more daily quests. I know it could be a daily chore. I know that people would be kind of, and I'm not saying we should do a hundred, do complete a hundred daily, uh, you know, adventures, but it could be like, let's say maybe 30 or so, maybe it, you know, you can do six a day. So it's not that many you can do, you have to do every day. It could also be cool that we had like a global goal where it's like a complete a million daily adventures, but everybody was like, and then everybody got like, I don't know, some dev dream boxes. I know they like giving those out, but it's something that would be kind of cool, a cool mount or something like that. Um, not a dragon, that would be too much, but a cool mount that everybody would get if, you know, just for everybody, no matter if you participated or not, but at least something that like a global goal, that would be super cool. It don't have to be a million. It could even be more if that had, you know, I don't know how many people are going to do that. But as you can see, I got five minutes left before we, uh, the servers are gonna go down. And also some of the servers might be unavailable. So I'm probably soon going to get disconnected. But the point is, I just wanted to make this little short and you know, talk that I would love to see either a global goal if that was possible to do, or just to, like unlock something else be after that where you have to do some more dailies. You know, you couldn't even you couldn't complete just in one day. So so people had you know a few extra days they had to do something. And since it would only be thirty and you have fourteen days to do it, uh, you could pick and choose whatever you know uh, daily ones you would uh, do as well. That is at least what I would do. But anyways, server is about to go down. I'm about to edit this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it uh, informative. And sorry for the random in here, but I just want to 
like to have more with our events. I just I keep saying it because I just want it so bad. <laughs> I just want it to be a lot more. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.